Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to Weekly Astrology for the week starting the 8th of June. Now this week we still have the tension of the Sun square Mars and also we've got Sun squaring Neptune, the planet of illusions. Yes, they may be continued, in fact increase gaslighting by the patriarchy or confusion in our intimate relationships. So we've all got to keep our wits about us this week. As there's not that much going on, other than the confusion, I thought I'd pull a few cards at the end of this weekly just to give you a bit more wisdom. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey Libra! This week you're feeling very adventurous, you're feeling expansive, you, you're feeling like you want to reach out, feeling very philosophical, you're feeling very kind of passionate about life and there's an air of optimism around you. You've got this just expansive, generous, kind-hearted spirit, but also you're feeling a bit wild and a bit frisky and a bit like you want to get up to adventures, good adventures and naughty adventures. And don't forget, there's these squares that are going on that may cause a bit of conflict. And actually, interestingly, the other side of that, that square where we have um, Mars and Neptune is in a position for you which is about judgment, uh, being healthy, looking after yourself, paying attention to your routines. So there's already a kind of disconnect there from you going, yes, let me be wild and crazy. Let me learn things and let me be, put my passion out to the world. And the other side of it is going, no, I've got to be really still and I've got to really be conscientious and I've, I've got to change my daily routines. I've got to keep everything, you know, like be diligent and, and do things for other people this week. You will, you can will find a way through that but there is a push me pull me and you might find that someone's critical of you and it tips you over the edge and makes you really angry or you may someone may feel that you're being very critical of them so avoid those extremes extremes these two things do not have to be in conflict you can bring them together um, and be adventurous while also looking after yourself libra 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 okay libra libra Libra. Libra. You, do you know it's interesting? Because I've been talking a lot about this in your astrology recently. Anyway, you're thinking about your home, where you're living. And obviously, with us all being locked down, having to spend more space in our home, not being able to get out of where we are, you're thinking about, is it right for me? You might be thinking about moving, you might be thinking about changing, but also there may be someone that you're having conflict with in your home. You're feeling a little bit defensive about it this week and it's almost like you're like, oh, you know, I need to free myself. And it, it, it feels like you're holding back your energy. And, and this card, I always say, if you look at it, to me, that person is blocking their chakras, you know? Let go of the block. There is always a way out of situations, even if you do not think so. Everything does pass, everything evolves, everything changes. So if you're in a position where you think nothing's going to change and you're like, feel your back against the wall, that's an illusion. There will be, yes, find your balance in that and all will be well. Temperance, weighing things up, balancing, balancing things up, gives you an alchemy. You're right though, I think there is someone around you that you can't trust at the moment or might not be being honest with you. But rather than being defensive and blocked off, stand in your power and leap away from that person into a new reality. Whether it's letting go of a friend you can't trust, a lover, or someone around you that is undermining you, you have the freedom to be the fool and leap into a brand new reality where you're free of that bullshit. Lots of love, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Hi gorgeous, before you go, check out my new film on my fabulous psychics. A lot of people ask me for readings, I don't do them anymore, but for over 20 years, I've had an award-winning team of psychics that I truly handpick. So check out the film, let me know what you think. The purpose of a reading, I feel, is very much to inspire people and to empower people. It's about hope, it's about guidance. Using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading. I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that, it's actually coming from spirit. 
and it is a bit like a three-way conversation. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else. It's, it's, it's part of who I am. It's what I came here for, obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. A lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. Everything begins and ends with you.